Okay, the problem with DSLR batteries uh, these days, the foil inside is very fragile. Actually, the, the battery itself, the cells are very good, they are durable, but the foil or the contacts uh, that made uh, connection between the uh, the battery contacts and the battery itself is very fragile so when you drop it it usually breaks so when you have a battery like this um, with no charge uh, won't charge it doesn't have power it won't power up your camera probably the uh, contacts inside were disconnected okay so actually I have a, a Fodex battery here same problem I bought this one for about three dollars or 150 pesos so the seller gave me a discount because it doesn't have power it wouldn't do anything so he gave it chip and uh, this was already repaired I'll show you okay so uh, they're actually uh, it's full charge Let's see okay there the uh, our patient here, the battery that's uh, sent by my friend, doesn't have uh, done, uh, won't power on the camera. So when you insert it, nada, no power. So what we're gonna try to do here is to open up, uh, dismantle this battery, and uh, let's find out what we have inside. Probably the contacts are broken, so we're gonna try to fix it now. Okay. So before we open up the uh anything before we uh, dismantle this battery you're gonna check the uh, voltage first well a uh, discharge battery as long as it's working it should uh, not be lower than uh, around uh, six or seven volts and this uh, one is the uh, battery in question as you can see here we're gonna insert this into our charger well good thing this charger dismantles Okay, so we're gonna test if this has the uh, power. Okay, so let's check. There you go, it's zero. Okay, now let's insert the uh, original Nikon uh, ENEL15. So let's uh, check this one. It's a good a working uh, battery. There, as you can uh, wait. As you can see, it has a 7.8 volts in it. Uh, it's not fully charged, but at least it's working. It has power, and I assume it would charge. Okay. Now let's try my uh, Fotex battery, the one I, I got shipped from a uh, seller. I have repaired this one months ago or a month ago. So let's try. Okay. So this one has 8.5 volts. This one is full charge. Okay, there you go. The one that I have here. This one, the unbranded battery pack uh, sent to me by uh, Miko Grabiana, my friend. Well, it doesn't have a charge. It won't charge. Uh, it won't register in the meter. It doesn't have power or it doesn't have a voltage. Okay, so it's zero volts. So we're gonna try to dismantle this one and uh, let's see what's inside, okay? Okay, to open up this battery, um, I'm gonna use a hammer and a ball knife but uh, you can also uh, open this up with a uh, an, ac an exacto knife or a cutter whatever suits you but for me this would work okay but just be careful be sure not to cut your <laughs> your fingers There, we have a small cut now. Another one on the other side. There. 
It's cut already. You see? It's it's very easy. There. You had a clean clean cut, okay? There you go. This one, okay, let's see, okay. This one is the uh, charging circuit here, okay? This one are the terminals connecting the battery. Okay, there we go. Okay. So this one is the dismantle the battery. This is the charging circuit. This is the lithium ion battery cell. So we're gonna trace uh, the problem if it's the charging uh, circuit or the battery itself. So when you connect the uh, multimeter and the terminals, okay, let's see. We have a 7.55, 7.5 volts. Okay, so let me show you. There. The battery, the lithium ion battery itself is good, but the charging circuit is not. So when we connect this into the uh, charger, it is zero volts. So from my test, the battery cell works, but the charging circuit is not. So we cannot do anything at this point if only we have a spare battery with a working charging circuit then we can uh, we could replace it with a new one but for now the verdict <coughs> that's it it's beyond the repair unless we have our uh, charging circuit like this a typical uh, one that we could replace it with a new one so there you have it guys i hope you learned something thanks for watching